Today's scripture reading is a parable in which Jesus describes with brutal clarity the great gulf that, in God's sight, separates those whose lives are marked by suffering and hardship from those who are more fortunate but have chosen to turn a blind eye to the needs of others and appear deaf to the voices of those who urge them to show compassion. Please join me in a prayer of illumination. Gracious God, you are Alpha and Omega and beginning and end. In these moments that we share, give us open eyes, open ears, open hearts to receive your message as it is given to us in Scripture and in interpretation of Scripture. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture reading today is taken from Luke's Gospel 16, verses 19 to 31. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen, and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sword. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send, send Lazarus to get the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am in agony in these flames. Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, and Lazarus, in like manner, evil things. And now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us, a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here, you cannot do so, and no one can pass across your feet of us. He said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, and he may warn them, so they will not uh, also come into this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. We should listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but this is something one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to them, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be.